Load up your vehicle, get your ticket, and hop aboard, because today we have another Day R video. If the new train system seems confusing to you, or if you want to know how to utilize it to get a bunch of NPC currency every few hours, then this is the video for you. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new so you can get any new content, and if you do gain anything of value from today's video, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up, as that always helps me out. With all that being said, let's get into it. The first thing people always ask is why the train is not letting them go to other cities in the train system. The simple reason is that you have to first visit the other cities on foot before you're able to travel there by train. City icons will look gray if you haven't visited the NPC, and will look orange if you have visited them, so visit all the NPC cities to be able to travel to them later on the train. Now the next question that people always have about the train system is how to utilize it to get the most NPC currency in the shortest amount of time. Since my main base is in Tyumen, what I do is travel to Kurgan and then to Chell, making sure to sell things at each NPC to get all of their currency, and then take a vehicle to do the same thing with Sphere and Mag while I'm in that area. The traders at each NPC refresh every 5 hours, so you can do this process every 5 hours to make some quick currency. Make sure to travel lightly when using the train because for every 100 kilograms of cargo you have, you have to pay a certain amount of currency which is added to a distance factor as well. Also note that vehicle weight does not impact the cost of your train ride, so feel free to take your heavy boys on the train with you. Some items that I recommend you to take on the train to clean out the NPCs of their currency are bones and butchered animal parts. Bones are nice because they're pretty light and they don't rot anymore, and also you usually only need around 200 to 300 of them to clean out a trader of all their currency. Animal parts like meat, fat, leather are good because you can hunt them at each NPC if you wanted, and the butchered parts of animals sell for a decent amount more than an animal that isn't butchered. In summary, the train provides a cheap and fast way for us to travel to all the important late game NPC cities, so make sure when you use it that you also do as many of the NPC quests as you can to get your reputation up and get even more currency while you're there. I like doing the quests where you have to fight because bandits drop some decent items and those quests usually give the most currency and reputation. What I've noticed that works well for me during these fights are using a combination of sniper and melee weapons, as assault rifles use a lot of ammo, so not really worth it. Now remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see similar videos, because unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. If you want to see more videos in the same playlist, then check out the link down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.